Roth then was Wingthor when he awoke and his hammer missed. His beard he shook, his hair he tossed. Yard's son set out then to recover it. And these words he said first of all. Hear you now, Loki, what I now say, which no man knows, neither on earth nor in heaven. A god is robbed of his hammer. They went then to the halls of fair Freya, and these words he said first of all. Will you to me, Freya, your feather cloak lend, if my hammer I might recover? Though would I give it to you, were it of gold, and though lend it, were it of silver. Loki flew then, the feather cloak resounded, until he came beyond the walls of the gods, and came into the realms of the giants. Threem sat on his mound, the giant's lord, his hounds with golden bonds he fitted, and the manes of his mares he trimmed. How fair the gods, how fair the elves, why are you come alone into Jotunheim? Ill it is with the gods, ill it is with the elves. Have you Hlorithi's hammer hidden? I have Hlorithi's hammer hidden, eight leagues beneath the earth. No man after will recover it, save that he bring me Freya as wife. Loki flew then, the feather cloak resounded, until he came beyond the realms of the giants and came within the walls of the gods. He met Thor amid the courts, and these words he said first of all. Have you a message for your trouble? Speak aloft your long tidings. Oft the one sitting fails in his saying, and he who is lying down dares a lie. I have trouble as well as a message. Thrym has your hammer, the giant's lord. No man after who will recover it, save that he bring him Freya for wife. They go to meet the fair Freya, and these words he says first of all. Dress yourself, Freya, in a bride's linens. We shall drive two together into Jotunheim. Freya became wroth then and snorted. All the gods abode trembled beneath. The great necklace of the Breesing sprang apart. You must know me to be most mad after men if I am to ride with you into Jotunheim. At once were the Asir all in meeting, and the Asjunir all atop, and the great gods counseled over this, how they might seek Hlorithi's hammer. Then Heimdall said this, the widest of the gods. He knew well what was to come as the other Vanir. Let us dress Thor then in a bride's linens, let him have the great necklace of the Breesings. Let us about him drop the keys, and women's skirts about his knees fall, and on his breast broad stones, and daintily about his head wind a veil. Then Thor said this, the mighty god, The gods will call me gay if I let myself be wrapped in a bridal veil. Then Loki, Lalveu's son, said this, Silence yourself, Thor, of these words. At once will the giants inhabit Asgard, unless you recover your hammer. They wrapped Thor then in a bride's linens, and the great necklace of the Breesings. They let about him drop the keys, and women's skirts about his knees fall, and on his breast brooches, and daintily about his head wound a veil. Then Loki Lauveo's son said, I will also be a handmaiden with you. We shall drive two together into Jotunheim. At once were the goats driven home, hastened to the harness they should ride well. Stone they broke, the earth burned with fire. Odin's son drove into Jotunheim. Then Thrym said this, the giant's lord. Stand up, giants, and strew the benches. Now they bring to me Freya as wife, Njord's daughter out of Noatun. Let come here to the court the golden-horned cows, the oxen all black to please the giants. Great store I have of treasures, great store I have of jewels. Freya alone seems lacking to me. Twas then come early at evening, and before the giants ale brought forward. One woman alone devoured oxen, ate salmon, all the dainties which women should. Sif's men drank three casks of mead. Then Threem said this, the giant's lord. Where did you see brides bite more fiercely? Never did I see brides bite more eagerly, nor more mead a maiden drink. The all-wise handmaiden sat before, who found word with the giant's speech. 
Freya ate nothing for eight nights, so was she madly eager for Jotunheim. He bent beneath the veil, desired to kiss, and he sprang back along the whole hall. Why are the eyes of Freya so fiery? It seems to me that out her eyes a fire burns. The all-wise handmaiden sat before, who found word with the giant's speech. Freya slept not for eight nights, so was she madly eager for Jotunheim. In came the poor giant's sister, she who must dare to ask the bride's gift. Let slip from your hand the red rings, if you wish to earn my love, my love, my favor. Then Threem said this, the giant's lord. Bear in the hammer, my bride, to hallow. Lay Mjolnir on the maiden's knee. Consecrate us together with Var's hand. Clo Reedy's heart laughed in his breast, when he accepted his hammer hard-hearted. Threem he slew first, the giant's lord and all the family of the giant he smote. He slew the old giant's sister, she who had asked for the bride's gift. She accepted a blow for a shilling, and the stroke of a hammer for a store of rings. So came Odin's son in the end to his hammer. 